So the third aspect um, of a theology of science uh, is this duality between wisdom and knowledge, uh, Sophia and Sapientia. We tend to divide um, our uh, interaction and manipulation of the world, the engineering, the applied sciences, with what we call pure or fundamental science. Um, but actually, in my own experience, I've found that the two feed from and of each other um, in a much deeper way um, than we normally allow for. Now, similarly, the biblical material doesn't see the distinction between our interaction and uh, with and making nature fruitful and our understanding of it. Let's take the prophet, uh, tr prophetic tradition for a while um, and go to Isaiah chapter 28, where we have um, a picture of the wisdom of the farmer. Um, when a farmer uh, ploughs for planting, does he plough continually? Does he keep on breaking up and harrowing the soil when he has levelled the surface? Does he not sow caraway and scatter come in? Does he not plant wheat in its place, barley in its plot, and spelt in its field? His God instructs him and teaches him the right way. Here we have the knowledge of the natural world and the farming making fruitful of the natural world, perhaps reflecting the Genesis commission to um, subdue the earth and make it fruitful.